Hey, hey. Hey, everyone. I am Tiara Chardé. I am back with another message. Um, today's message is going to be a reading, actually. I was feeling the need to um, pull some cards for you. And the plant oracle card that I pulled was the snake plant. Maybe you have a snake plant at home. You could have grown up with these plants in your home. Um, but it is a suitable plant for the bedroom. It generously pulls toxins from the air during the day, then releases oxygen at night for you to breathe while you sleep. Okay. With its strong, broad leaves like swords, this plant will look after you and not ask for much in return. Moment by moment, our plants silently give us the gift of oxygen, a reminder that generosity can be a staple part of our daily lives. So this is a type of plant that gives more than it receives. It requires very little water every two to six weeks, okay? And it requires bright, indirect light, a nighttime oxygenator. So I love these cards because it advises you what plant will speak to you in, in this present moment, but also the other side of the card um, relates to the channeled messages, Um so some of you, you may be dealing with a snake in your midst, right? Um, some of you may be having nightmares. Others of you, you have um, people visiting you in dreams for various reasons. A lot of times it's for information and clarity. And some of you are prophetic dreamers, right? So you dream of um, experiences that you'll have later on throughout the day or throughout the week. Um you could have been put on to the fact that you have some sort of trickery around you and i was definitely getting that i'll pull some cards here and this is actually my second time doing this video so i have a couple cards already laid i just had to restart it and i thought that was very interesting because many of you i feel like that's kind of like what's going on like you had something going and for whatever reason it needed to, to be put on pause Maybe you had people watching you that wanted to sabotage, or maybe um, it wasn't the right timing for something. Um, for others of you, I do feel like some sort of sabotage has gone on, like some sort of gossip so that you wouldn't get a particular position or job, or um, just some sleight of hand. Somebody around you is not really telling the truth, okay? That, that's what's going on. And, you know, take what resonates, leave the rest. Many of you who watch this, you probably are not dealing with this at all, but this is for someone. Um, and it would be confirmation for you. It's not to make you paranoid or anything, okay? So, um, somebody, somebody feels like they got away with something here. Like, um, or they thought that they got away with something. They thought that they got away with uh, undermining you. Like I'm, I'm getting kind of like an underhanded thing that was taking place for somebody. And there's a lot of messages that are coming in right now. Okay, so um, somebody tried to undermine you or take a position from you or influence a decision maker in a in a in a decision that needed to be made. They they influenced somebody. And um, I feel like this could have caused you stress, but you're actually going to end up on top. So if anybody has stolen content from you or um, tried to win a job over you, you're, you're going to be victorious. Okay. Let's put these oracle cards over here. You're going to be victorious in some sort of endeavor. You could have also found out something. Somebody doesn't want to present themselves to you because you found out their secrets or something that they had uh, hidden. I really feel like somebody tried to sabotage your work. Somebody's very intimidated by your work. So say like you're a whistleblower or you're an oracle or you speak out about the things that are going on. You could be an activist. You could be a journalist. There's someone that doesn't want you to say the things that you're saying and doesn't want you to do the work that you do. I feel like somebody actually wants to be you. And this energy has been coming up quite a bit, y'all. Like, it's very, um, it's here. It's here. 
okay? Somebody wants what you have. Um, and they're also watching you to see like when something takes place or when something will occur in your life. They could have gotten readings on you. Um, I didn't expect the message to go this way. By the way, you, you all, I just wanted to do some channeled messages for your weekend. And this is what's coming in. It's like somebody is aware of the fact that you're a star or you have so many opportunities around you. They want to make sure that they can kind of come in at the right time to present you with, um, I don't know, like a reconciliation or something like that. For others of you, someone wanted your position and they really tried to take it though. So I don't know if they spoke to your boss or... Um, the boss chose somebody because they knew them. Okay. There's something there. And it's also, again, somebody wants to make their way to you before you move on with the situation. You have a bunch of illusions around you. I feel like the past is kind of influencing the decisions that you're making today. Um, as well as there's a need for you to get clear on what path is, is currently right for you. Also, somebody is pretending to be you. I, I, like uh, They're pretending to be you or they're trying to... Um, I feel like they're they're wearing your energy or they're trying to present your ideas. They're trying to definitely get away with something, some sleight of hand that you're not seeing. Some of you are needing to ground your energy so that your intuition is um is clear, more clear. Yeah, somebody is going to get caught with whatever it is that they're trying to take from you or sabotage here. I feel like somebody is trying to sabotage also a soulmate or a twin flame, like you're mad at them or something. Um, I feel like somebody is throwing you evil eye or sex magic or spell work to try to get you back. This is, this is an interesting reading. I don't know if I'm going to post it, you all. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what comes out because... Um, I mean, in the meantime, y'all, you're really showing up as, as powerful, okay? You're showing up as the star. You're showing up as a beacon of light for other people. I just feel like you have someone around you who is gossiping about you or they don't understand why people love you so much. That's, that's literally what I just heard. Like, somebody doesn't get why people love you so much. Like, what is it that they see in you? Someone feels like they're better than you or that they can do your job better than you. But they can't. They can't, though. And I feel like that that pisses somebody off, that saddens somebody. Also, you may be feeling like you can't take on a position that is being presented to you at this time. Or there will be a position that's, that's going to be presented to you. And maybe you don't feel like you're up to it or you don't feel like... People are going to come around and patronize your business, but I'm getting that they are. You have people who are waiting for you to um, to show up, to arrive at a certain space so that they can see you. Somebody has also been holding themselves back. Also, I'm getting somebody is having legal issues here because of something that happened. There was some sort of altercation or some sort of theft. Someone is needing to go within about the next phase of your journey. You're needing to gain enlightenment at this time. I feel like um, you're holding yourself back from some sort of prosperity or acceleration that you have in your life that's, that's about to be presented to you. Okay, you're holding yourself back from this next chapter. Some of you are holding you holding yourself back from love. Okay. <laughs> holding yourself back from love. I feel like you're going to realize something. You're going to have some sort of realization in your life about a love interest. 
some of you this realization could be that you're with the wrong person and you're needing to like literally move on right some of you have a whole new love interest that that yeah that greatly loves you and that is also waiting for you that's so ironic um but others of you you know wow okay I'm getting that um, someone out there knows that you're their twin flame or you're their divine love or they're supposed to be with you. They're supposed to start a new life with you. But I feel like they dipped and dodged from making a decision or they chose something else. But they knowingly chose, they knowingly chose someone that that wasn't meant to be with them. Like they willingly chose someone they knew they weren't being called towards. I feel like this person was very arrogant or egotistical here and they made a decision. And in the meantime of making that decision though, it's like they slandered the other person. It's like they dragged the other person for some reason. Like there was a lot of gossip about this person. There was a lot of, um, yeah, there was like a lot of gossip about, about this person, but the one who joined in in the gossip, they knew who you were. It's like they knew that they were meant to be with you. Also, I'm getting someone who was kind of smug in the situation. I feel like they felt this person would always be there. That the person wasn't going to go anywhere. That they were just going to stand around waiting for them. But the divine is kind of like, no, that's not true. Right? Because I sent somebody into your life and you disrespected them or you made them feel unloved or unworthy. You chose liars and thieves over this person. I don't know. I'm just the messenger, y'all. I don't know what's going on right now, okay? I'm just I'm just relaying the messages, baby, okay? Somebody has been waiting a long time for an apology. This is so ironic. So interesting. Somebody is waiting for an apology. They could be waiting for you to come to them. And not necessarily waiting so much. It's kind of like they expect that if they ever hear from you, it'll be with an apology. So interesting, so interesting. Also, somebody is manifesting a message from you. They want a message from you. Some of you could be actually blocked too. See, take what resonates. There's so many storylines playing out right now. It's kind of like, what? It's different things happening at the same time or all of these things is happening to one person here. Like you have gossip and slander, you have evil eye and spell work being sent to you to block your intuition, to block your path. You have somebody trying to like sabotage your work. Like you gotta be the chosen one. You gotta be a priest or priestess because this stuff only happens to people who do, who are actually doing stuff, right? You're actually doing stuff with your life. Um, you have somebody who's hiding their feelings for you. Somebody is really deeply in love with you. They think you're amazing but they're not saying so. It's like they keep sneaking around and hiding the fact that they love you. It's just like, hmm. But in the meantime, they're they're manifesting you. They're like doing love spells to get you back. Like they're just, there's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on. Also, somebody is sneaking away. Somebody is sneaking away because they, they want to be with you. Somebody wants to be with you. They want you to take a leap of faith towards them. They're wondering why you're not speaking to them, why you're not talking to them or calling them or answering their calls. They feel blocked from you. Somebody feels really blocked from you. For others of you, somebody feels blocked from sabotaging your connections. They feel like they can't win like they can't win every time they look up see I can't make it up every time they look up it's like you've accomplished something new or you had a new opportunity and it's like see wow look 
somebody's doing spiritual ooh, excuse me sorry <laughs> had an itch somebody is doing spiritual work on you okay i'm tr look they're doing magic on you sex magic mirror magic water magic they're paying for practitioners why is this still going on like y'all still up to the shit like why are you all still using spell work Whoever this is, why are you still using spell work? Because somebody doesn't realize just how chosen you are. They don't get it. Wow. They don't understand. And it's like the more that they send these negative attacks to you, the more the divine keeps blessing you and blessing you and blessing you and blessing you. If they really wanted to fuck with you, they should just leave you alone. Because the more warfare that they send to you, the more powerful you become. And the more blessings you get in your life, it kind of has the opposite effect here. Some of you are master magicians, you're master alchemists. So if somebody sends you spell work, you're able to perceive it way beforehand, see who is doing it. You're able to transmute the energy and take it into yourself so you could manifest more abundance in your life. That's literally what somebody is doing. And I feel like if your enemies knew that that's what you were doing, then they'd stop using spell work on you. But every single time they attack you, you level up exponentially. You get a new psychic gift. <laughs> you get a new spiritual gift. You didn't even know you could levitate until they launched warfare at you. And then you dodged it because you levitated. So it's just like, wow, this is really how... This is what they mean when they say... The divine will make your enemy your footstool. This is literally happening. And look, you have this little stool here. This is literally happening. For some of you, the more pain you go through, the more you turn it into purpose, which cuts you even bigger checks. You make more money each time. Or you're capable of doing this. The divine wants you to do this. The divine wants you to transmute this energy. But yeah, I'm really getting that somebody stole from a chosen one. Somebody stole, look, sacred child is at the bottom, what fell out here? Alpha male. <laughs> that came up earlier today. Somebody is like pretending to be an alpha male. Alpha males don't launch spell work at people. It's not an alpha male trait. It's a very feminine trait. It's a very feminine trait. It's not an alpha male trait. Somebody is pretending to be somebody here. I keep getting that like somebody is pretending to be someone else here and they're using spell work to do it for some others of you someone is using spell work to trip you up it's like they want you to return to them they want you to be so down and out that you you return to them or you ask them for help it's so strange wow so sacred child actually fell out so it's what i was saying before like you're a chosen one you've been ordained you have someone who's literally trying to steal your path you have legendary level up you're meant for a certain life and somebody around here knows it like you have a lot of people watching you let me just tell you that right now like you could be on youtube you could have a, a social media platform you could be an actress right people see your movies but you just have a lot of people watching you who want to be you, who actually try. They try. They want to one-up you. They want to accomplish something before you do, too. With love, mom. Some of you, you're receiving intel from your bloodline, your maternal bloodline, your parents. Some of you have a gift that you've been given from your uh, maternal bloodline. This actually helps protect you. Some of you, you're literally a deity. You're not like a regular person. You're a deity. And it's so weird. It's like, why am I getting this? It's like someone is using magic against you, but they don't realize that you're a deity. It's like, hang on. Like, let me just rock with me, all right? Let's, let's go down this road together. It's like literally somebody is sending magic towards you, like demons towards you. But they don't realize that the demons fuck with you. It's like, 
is like they don't understand that you command the demons. So if they're conjuring up evil and they're conjuring up spells to send at you, it's kind of like those entities work for you. So it's like when they get to your crib, you're like, oh, what's up? What? What's go Man, they sent you over here. That's crazy. Like, <laughs> now nah, you could go back. It's cool. Like, it's crazy how this is feeling to me right now. It's like somebody is literally sitting there talking to the demons or somebody is literally looking at all the magic that's being sent to them. You're this. This message is deep. It's, it feels crazy right now. I just want y'all to understand this. <laughs> I know I look calm giving you this message, but the energy is wild right now, okay? It's like somebody is standing here and they're watching all this warfare being sent to them, all this spell work and all this stuff. And they're just like, wow, look at all of this shit that was sent to me. That's crazy. Like, and just is going to send it back. Like, it's just going to turn it back. Like, yeah, no, I don't want this. And then, like, the devil and the demons is going to show up at this part person's crib. And they're like, nah, like, they sent you over here for no reason. Now you, you got beef with them. I don't know. I don't know why they sent you over here when I'm a chosen one. You literally have the, the devil and the demons and everybody like, look, I don't even know why they sent me to you when when you work for, like, Ray, would I work for you? Like, I work for you. Somebody is so in tune with the, like, the other side, the shadow realms, so tapped in and navigating those areas that you're not afraid of this warfare that is being sent to you you're not afraid of this magic that's being sent to you look it was underneath this i'm secretly hexing you y'all i don't look <sighs> can't make this up if i tried i couldn't make it up if i tried i wouldn't even try because this shit's weird to me like why are you launching warfare at people that's super like bugged out but whatever Somebody doesn't know that you got it like that, that you're actually chosen and you're a particular breed of chosen. Like you literally sit with these demons, like you really went to the bottom and pits of hell and that's a part of your purpose though. You're meant to. And you're meant to identify the people who are doing this, that's your role. And I'm sweating right now because who the fuck are you, baby? Like, jeez. That you have this power. You're a sacred child. You're a sacred child. This is a part of your ancestry because I'm literally looking at with love mom and alpha male. Ooh. Mama made a right choice and your daddy, baby. Let me tell you. Okay, your DNA is off the charts. Like, it's just legendary right now. It's crazy to me. So somebody is using spell work here. That's been confirmed, right? Somebody is literally doing this, but they don't understand your rank. And it's like they watch you to see if shit's working, and if they see if it's not working, they use more spiritual work. They use more spell work and more evil eye and they try to manifest you more and every single time they do it they just get deeper and deeper and deeper it's like they they're digging their own grave this person could work with their hands it's like they're digging their own grave while they do it and i'm telling you like you're sitting pretty somewhere and they don't get that that the evil that they're sending next to you actually bows to you they it bows to you look the evil bows to you. You 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 on a throne. They don't get it. It's such a shame. It's weird. So now you have cleanse your home and cleanse your body. Some of you, you're just needing to cleanse your home because there's just a lot of evil eye and stuff being sent your way. A lot of a lot of energies around you. You're needing to clear the smoke screen. You're also needing to see who is who. Because the divine is telling you exactly who is doing this. It's like, whoever I'm talking to, you already know who's doing it. And you know why they're doing it, too. And it's like, you're not even going to stop them from doing it. This person needs to. 
do this because it's a part of their karma. They need to see themselves like this. They're not going to win against you, but they need to keep crashing and burning before they get it. Somebody is really needing to see God. They're needing to see the most high. And the only way that they're going to see the most high is through you. Somebody hates you and loves you. Y'all, if you didn't see that video, make sure you watch that video. Somebody hates you and loves you. But you have, I'm secretly hexing you. Like I said, somebody is doing this to you directly or they're paying for this to be done to you. So just protect your energy. Whoever I'm speaking to is like, even as... It's, I'm so calm. Like, I'm not like... There's no worries. It's like no concerns. It's like, yeah, this is going on. All right, can you pass the lemonade? Like, it's kind of like they don't know who you are. So they don't know that you're a legend. So you're kicking it right now. You're just doing the things that you're needing to do. You're just doing your sacred work. Look, I can't make it up. You're just doing your sacred work. You're not, you're in service to the most high. That's what these, that's what they don't understand. You not... You're not the average person here. But somebody is treating you like you're the average person, like they can steal from you or they can sabotage you and not get some really crazy repercussions. And see, look, use magic was under I'm secretly hexing you, okay? What's behind that? And nosy neighbors, okay? This is somebody who watches you. Like I said, you have a lot of people watching you. The, the interesting thing is you absolutely have a lot more people who are praying for you and loving up on you and rooting you because you literally have here with love, mom. You have a lot of people who love you. A lot of people who love you. It's crazy. Like literally everybody in the spirit world loves you. Everybody everybody somebody hates how much other people love you and how much you're favored and like even when you have no money even when you have no food in the house even when you're down and out even when you're sad or you know childhood stuff comes up even when you down and out you still a god and people still love you somebody here hates that Somebody hates it so much. It's so sad. Like this, these are sad people. All right, what else do you have for my chosen ones? And then we gonna get out of here because this is a powerful message. Because honestly, even though this person is going through this, then I say this: anointed and chosen. Because even though these people are doing this to you, you're still you're still blessed. Like I could cry. Like it's so crazy to me. I'm, I'm speaking for somebody you go through so much warfare for literally no reason like people are just really envious of you they want your job they want your hair they want your body they want the way you talk they want your sensuality some of them hate you because they really want to fuck with you some of them hate you because you didn't have sex with them when you probably should have because they thought that you should have. Somebody hates you because you've been crowned and they feel like they haven't been crowned like you. And you're literally not doing anything to these people here. Like, you're literally not doing anything. But your very being angers somebody so much. It's really, like, overwhelming. But you're fine. The divine is going to make sure that you're fine. Like, oh my God. Like, the divine is going to make sure that you have everything you need. Look, I can't make it up. As I'm talking, it's coming out. You're an ascended master returned. You're a chosen one. Like, you're literally Jesus fucking returned. You're, you're, you're Mother Mary. <laughs> Like, there's literally books in the Bible written about you and your greatness. And people feel like you're just not who you say you are or something. Somebody feels like you're capping. Remember in the beginning, I was like, somebody is capping? 
but you're not. It's like, excuse me, it's like they thought that you weren't who you said you were, so they launched warfare to see if you die and you lived, and now they believe in God or something. I, now they believe that you're who you say you are, but it's like you, it's like they already launched all of this at you, and it's kind of too late. They can't take it back. Backstage tickets was in reverse. None of my cards are in reverse. The family legacy is upright. Remember I was telling you somebody has their gifts from their bloodline. But look what behind, is behind it. Backstage tickets is in reverse. So somebody is not going to get where they think they're going to go. Because they sabotaged you thinking they were going to get a certain outcome. They're not going to get the outcome that they planned on. They're actually going to get a really scary outcome for many of them many of them are already scared many of them are already afraid so underneath the family legacy we have promotions and recognition so like i was saying you're gonna move forward with your purpose divine justice is underneath that what else is underneath that because come on y'all gonna stop playing with me criminal and thief what what did i say what did i say Death spells and death magic. What did I say? What did I say? <laughs> and behind that royal bloodline, you've been crowned. Did I not say somebody has been crowned and someone is mad about it? Y'all, we're done. Those are the messages. <laughs> Those are the messages. So really, it's business as usual, honey. Go about your purpose with confidence and courage. There's nothing that's going to be able to stop you. You're, you're, you cannot be stopped. This is your family legacy. You were chosen and anointed by the Most High before you even came into being. Before you even came into being, the Most High selected you. You're an ascended master returned. You also have a twin flame. Somebody's trying to sabotage your uh, relationship with your divine counterpart, and they can't, and they big mad about it. They're big mad. That's the moral of the story. This message is literally the divine confirming things for people here. Confirming things for you so that you know what's up, that you know, okay, you're not crazy. This stuff is happening behind the scenes, but just know they can't, they can't mess with you. They, they're trying really hard. And every single time they try, it's like they put another nail in the coffin. Like they literally do. And that's sad to me. It's very sad, y'all. Like it's very sad. <laughs> like because all the while you're going to be leveling up and they, they're going to see that. Many of these people, their karma is to see the divine bless you exponentially, like supernaturally bless you that's their karma because you're a chosen vessel you're literally an earth angel you're literally crowned by the divine you are here for sacred work and you have the devil's minions launching warfare at you and like trying to sabotage what you got going on trying to steal from you and take from you many of you you've been seriously hurt You've been seriously hurt by people. You have a lot of people who have harmed you who, who think that they got away with it or they see you going through something and they, they get happy because they feel like their treachery is what caused this in your life. And the divine is saying, no, that's not, that's not what's going on. But these people are so disconnected from the most high. So disconnected. Look, not your friend. They're so disconnected from, from the divine that they don't see who you are. Some of them so, see it now, but they've already, they've already done their dirt. It's too late, and that's why they're like this at night, because they know what they did. Somebody knows what they did to you, and it's killing them. And it kills me. <laughs> it's killing them, what they did to you. Because I feel like somebody has harmed you and it's like 
they realized who you were too late. Some of them, they knew exactly who you were. Some of them, they knew exactly that you were blessed. And that is why they launched this attack at you. It's like they literally saw a child of God and was like, I hate them. I hate her. I hate him. Let me launch warfare at them. Let me talk about them. Let me steal their light. Let me steal their opportunities. Let me step in and sabotage them. Let me gossip about them. Someone here, they knowingly launched warfare against a chosen one. And it's like their the karma from that is like, it's long reaching here. It's very long reaching. But you, like I said, I'm just putting the cards away. Like I said, your blessing, and see this came up, your blessing is going to be so profound. Because you put up with a lot. You you still stood 10 toes down out here. You stood 10 toes down. And it's like nobody's going to be able to deny you. The blessings. Look, oh shit, it opened up right up, right up. It opened right up. Chosen one. Chosen one. Your blessings are going to be so powerful because of what you put up with. Because you stood firm. You didn't switch up. And everybody around you is going to watch you. Everyone who hated on you is going to watch you win. And then you're also going to see how many people love you. Because like I said, so many people love you. Seen and unseen in other star systems and dimensions I'm hearing too. You're beloved. You are highly, 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 highly honored, okay? So I don't care what it looks like in this 3D realm, baby, all right? So I hope that <laughs> inspired you. I hope it confirmed some things for you. This was a message coming through, y'all. I didn't channel the message beforehand. It's just what was laid out. So, you know, let's, let's close this. All right, we transmute all of that energy. If there is any evil eye or negativity or spell work being sent your way, we transmute that energy. We cleanse it and we take it into ourselves and we empower ourselves with it. We ask the divine to assist us in this endeavor. So I hope you resonated with this. I will see you all in the next message. Peace and love.